In this video, we're going to talk about the triangulated export types from OpenVSP and cover a few of the options that you have available with, say, an STL. Now, mostly we're going to cover STL here because the other file types like OBJ and facets and tries and dats, they have their default settings because we already know what those programs and what those file types are expecting, usually something like a multi-solid tagged file. But an STL gives you some options. So if we were to export this wireframe that we've got here on the screen without any of these options, the grid that comes out is going to be treated as if it is one surface, even though the wings and everything are going to be passing through each other. So let's take a look at that example. So again, it takes the wireframe that you've got set up on your model, you know, your tessellation and everything is all set up and your numw and numu, and it just triangulates everything it gives it all the proper surface normals. You can see these are all pointing outward. But because we haven't run an intersection routine, the wing is still passing straight through the pod. The tails are all hitting each other. And you really are just getting the, the pure STL mesh out from the, the model itself. Now, there are ways to export things as an STL or an OBJ or a tri file from a mesh that's already in OpenVSP. We'll cover that in just a minute, but first let's take a look at a few other options. So let's take a look at what happens when we do our multi-solid file. When we do that, now each of these underlying surfaces have a unique ID. So even down to the individual blades in the propeller, they all have their own ID in a single mesh. So that's just a way of tagging which one of these belong to what, and making sure that they're identified as unique. But again, they haven't been intersected. So let's get rid of that, show our components again. Our another option here is to export propellers at the origin. So imagine a scenario where you want this propeller to be imported in another program, but you want to place it in that other model's coordinate system that may be different than this one. And so if you run into a scenario where you're trying to spin this triangulated mesh, you have to either make a copy of this propeller here at the origin, export it out, or do some type of weird translation where you get this thing centered up again. We make that easy for you. So in this case, we're going to make sure that we have just the props selected, export an STL, click OK. And so all it did is it took that propeller, moved it to the origin, and exported the mesh for you. And to prove it to you, we're going to show this aircraft. That is, in fact, right here at the origin. So it saves you some time and a little bit of hassle to be able to just export this right where it should be when you're bringing it into a different piece of software. Now, as I mentioned, every time we've done this, there's no intersection routine. It's taking just the mesh that you see uh, here from your OpenVSP model wireframe and turning it into a triangulation. And so what if you need a watertight solid mesh for something like, say, 3D printing? In that case, you do need to run the intersection routine. So to do that, you can do CompGeom, and that's the simplest way to get one of these out. It's very, very robust when it comes to OpenVSP models. And so by default here, you do have a multi-solid tagged surface, but notice that now all of these are intersected. The wings have been trimmed, the tails have all been trimmed, etc. And so now, because this mesh is the only thing shown on the screen, we change our set to shown, and we can export an STL, turn off the options, it, it doesn't really matter, and save this as an STL. And so OpenVSP will take the mesh that you see on the screen and translate that into STL format for you. And because it already had a mesh here in the screen, it didn't have to redo anything. So we can no-show this, come to File Import, just to show you what this looks like, just bring in that mesh we just created, and again, because we didn't tell it, give me a multi-solid tagged file, it's one surface ID, but the mesh has been trimmed. So this is an intersected, watertight solid, you know, except for the propeller hanging out here in the middle of nowhere. But something like this would be great for an STL to go into a 3D printer. The resolution might be a bit uh, coarse, but, you know, your, your printer will handle this just fine. So those are a few options that you can use to work with triangulated file types when you're exporting an OpenVSP.